I always keep a ball of aluminum foil by the sink. Thanks to it, I don't have to call a plumber. When you have a little aluminum foil left, don't throw it away. Crumple it into a ball and place it by the sink. If you have more used foil, but it's not dirty, I'll just remind you first about the trick I mentioned in one of the videos. You can put such a ball in the dishwasher. Aluminum foil reacts with the detergents used in the dishwasher capsule. There is an oxidation process, as a result of which glasses, cups, and cutlery are shiny. They don't have a matte film. But today, I'll tell you about another trick with aluminum foil. Remove the strainer from the sink. Take a piece of aluminum foil and line the bottom of it, right in the drain. A depression will form in the foil. Do this right after lunch. Regardless of what fat you fry on, try this method. Pour the leftover fat from lunch into the foil depression and run cold water. The water should flow under the foil. It shouldn't flow onto the fat. This will help the fat cool down faster. After a while, you can remove a solid piece of fat from the foil. If it's leftover vegetable butter or coconut oil, throw it away in the organic waste bin. If you fried on clarified butter or lard, throw the fat away in mixed waste. Put a plastic grocery bag into the sink. You won't have to call a plumber. Just a regular plastic bag, and the drain will be clear. If an unpleasant odor emanates from the sink and you hear gurgling in the pipes, apply this method as soon as possible. Remove the strainer from the sink. First, pour some dish soap. The soap removes grease that accumulates in the drain. There's always a lot of it in the kitchen sink. If you're using this method for the first time, pour quite a bit. There's definitely a lot of grease stuck to the walls of the pipes. Now we'll use a secret white powder. Pour about four tablespoons into the sink. Time for the third ingredient. It's vinegar. Just pour about 200 milliliters into the drain. Immediately, a reaction will occur between the vinegar and the white powder, and foam will quickly start to form. You probably already guessed that the white powder was baking soda. Now it's time to use the plastic bag trick. Take the bag and insert it into the drain. Try to plug the sink. You can press down on the bag with a bottle of vinegar or another liquid. If you've done it correctly, foam will also start to come out through that small hole. That's the air vent. When foam stops coming out, unplug the sink and see what happens. If foam starts coming out of the sink again, plug it again for a longer time. Usually, it takes about half an hour for the mixture to clean the sink. Only when everything starts to flow into the sink can you turn on hot water and flush the sink thoroughly. Hot water will remove all the residue that the soda, liquid, and vinegar broke down. If you take care of the sink like this once a month or every two months, you'll never have to call a plumber. Plumbers keep this from you. I inserted a hose into the toilet and got rid of the problem. If your toilet keeps clogging and emits an unpleasant odor, you don't have to call a plumber. All you need is a regular hose from a dishwasher or washing machine and an empty bottle. Start by cutting the bottle in half using a knife. Only the top part will be needed. Unscrew the prepared bottle and insert it into the end of the hosey. It should fit perfectly, as these are standard thread sizes. Use duct tape to seal the connection. Twist it several times securely. Take the other end of the hose. Cut it to a length of one meter. Do this at an angle. This will make it easier to use. Take the prepared hose to the bathroom. It will come in handy for pushing in deep cleaning pipes. Insert it into the toilet and push it through the drain pipe. Once it's deep enough, stand the bottle upright. Pour a cup of baking soda into it. It has a cleaning and disinfecting effect. Shake the hose to make the powder fall to the bottom, then pour a cup of vinegar into it. It will react with the baking soda, creating a foaming reaction. It will clean the pipe from lime deposits. It will flush out the dirt clogging the drain. The chemical reaction will help eliminate the sludge responsible for the unpleasant odor in the toilet. This action will keep the pipes in good condition for longer, and you won't have to use a plumber's services. After removing the hose, wait for the soda and vinegar to drain into the toilet. Finally, check the water, and you're done. Do you also have a problem with white stains on a black sink? Most people who buy such a sink have no idea how to take care of it. 
white marks don't come off even after washing with dish soap. But an indispensable solution in such a case turns out to be one inexpensive product. Everyone has it in the kitchen cabinet, and it turns out it should also be next to the sink. Then, white deposits from water will never mar your kitchen. Apply a simple trick, and in a few minutes, you'll get rid of the problem. Here's how to deal with it. Take a bottle of vinegar and pour it into a spray bottle. Then spray the sink surface where there are white spots. Do it thoroughly and generously. Place pieces of paper towel on the damp sink and spray vinegar again. It's important for the paper towels to be completely wet. This way, the vinegar won't evaporate and it will work longer, removing the white spots. Leave the paper for several minutes. In just a few minutes, you'll see that the white marks disappear. After a dozen or so minutes, remove the paper and see the difference. There will be no trace of lime deposits. The black streaks and spots will be a thing of the past, and you can enjoy a perfectly clean black sink. To prevent new white deposits, just spray the sink with vinegar from time to time, and that's it. Good luck. Behind the oven door, there is a hidden button that makes cleaning easier. Most people are unaware of it. Just pull it upwards to release the lock. Repeat the process on the other side. With the doors prepared in this way, they will be easy to remove. Next, grab them and lift them slightly. The hinges should come out on their own. There is a protective plastic on the oven door. Use a screwdriver to pry it open and then remove it. This way, you'll be able to disassemble and clean the glass. Not everyone knows that you can also remove the rack and glass when cleaning. Just pull them towards you with a firm motion. This way, you can thoroughly clean the oven walls. If you don't like scrubbing off burnt grease and food residues, use baking soda. It has excellent cleaning properties and is safe for health. Sprinkle it evenly over the doors and inside the oven using a sieve. A thick layer should cover the entire surface. Then, take a paper towel. Spread it in the areas covered with baking soda. Pour a cup of vinegar into a spray bottle. Screw it tightly. Spray the towels generously with it. They should absorb the mixture well. Both substances will react under the towels and start removing burnt food. Leave it all for 15 minutes. After that time, simply remove the towels and wipe the oven with them. All the dirt will stick to their surface, and you won't have to scrub. It can even handle tough stains. Express trick for cleaning the drain. It will thoroughly clean the pipes in five seconds. Remove the plug from the drain. Pour in four tablespoons of baking soda. Add one tablespoon of dishwashing liquid. Then pour a cup of vinegar into it. When the ingredients start foaming, press them with a towel. The foaming will fill the pipes. It will flush out the lime scale and dirt from them. Foam should start coming out of the hole located under the faucet. It will be covered in sludge and rust. This is the fastest and most thorough way to clean the drain. Baking soda and vinegar have descaling and cleaning properties.